This video will show users how to add openings for both windows and doors. The first step would be to ensure that we're in the modeling tab within the ribbon. The commands for adding windows and doors are in the wall layout section. Alternatively, I can select a wall I want to add the opening to, right click to open the contextual menu, and then select insert window, which opens the window browser. In the left column are all of the different available window libraries. When a library is selected, you can see the different window types available in that particular library. Furthermore, when you select a specific window type, the default sizes for that window are then shown. If you were to then double click on any of the sizes, you will open the properties for that window. In the base data tab, you can alter the rough opening dimensions. There is also parameters for controlling window sections, which will only be available in the relevant window type. The material code and label that appears on the floor plan should automatically change when the window size is altered. However, you can manually change this if you wish. The extra data tab allows the user to fine tune the opening size, adding in framing tolerances. Frame width, offsets and U values can also be altered here. Should you wish to change the header height from what has already been specified during project setup, this can be done here. Once all parameters are set to your requirements, click OK and the window is now fixed to the wall plane that had originally been selected. By default, the cursor is attached to the left side of the window as viewed from the exterior side of the wall. But you can change the reference point in the contextual toolbar with the left, middle and right buttons. The window header height can also be adjusted from what was previously set up in the 3D levels. This will be on a window by window basis. However, BD will keep these adjusted settings if adding in multiple instances of the same window. To do this, click the Z button in the contextual toolbar, which will open the Enter Locating Height dialog. The current header height will be displayed, and there are a few options here to change this. First, you can select if you are using the global height of the whole building or the relative height on the current floor. Secondly, you can determine if you are using the header or sill height as your locating point. Then click OK. Once a window is added, you can continue to add in further instances of that window until you press Confirm, which will then prompt you to choose a different wall to continue adding this window type to. Once placed, confirm and then quit out of the command. We will now move on to inserting doors, which is a very similar process to adding the windows. However, there are a few additional functions and parameters. Again, there are different door libraries, most of which have exterior and interior sub libraries. Again, we can go to the door properties to change various parameters, including the door opening side, and setting the angle of the door opening 2D and 3D if the door is parametric. Again, click OK and select the wall you want to add the door to. The features described when going through inserting windows also work here. However, there are a few further features that may be of use. These include door leaf flipping and opening orientation options. That concludes this session on doors and windows. Thank you for watching.